today we're going to look at missing numbers and algebraic equations. And if you are watching this, it means that you're doing this independently. So remember, if you run into trouble, run into questions, jot that into your notebook and make sure you get hold of me. Today we're going to answer the question, how can I use the opposite function of an equation to solve for a variable? What the heck does that mean? Well, here's an equation. Remember earlier, I, we were working with expressions, and I told you that expressions are different from equations because expressions don't have an equal sign. Well, an equation does. And in this case, we're looking at the equation n plus 5 equals 6. n's an addend, 5's an addend, 6 is a sum. I'm missing an addend. I know some number plus 5 will give me 6. The question, of course, is what is that number because I'm missing an addend. One addend is a variable, the other is 5, I get a sum of 6. I've got a total and one of the addends, but the other part's missing. So to solve that, I'm going to need to use the opposite function to take the total apart and find the missing piece. In other words, if I'm adding here, to find the solution, I need to do the opposite of adding, which would be subtraction. So here I'm going to take my sum and take out the addend. It should give me the other addend. 6 minus 5 is 1. Now to be sure, we always go back and plug it in. Is 1 plus 5 the same as 6? It is, so that's correct. Here's some more for you to try in your notebook. 3 plus some number equals 10. 3 times some number is 24. A number divided by 8 gives me 2. And some number minus 1 gives me 7. Remember, you're going to need to use the opposite. If we're adding here, we'll need to subtract here. If we're multiplying here, we'll need to divide here. If you're dividing here, you'll need to multiply here. And if you're subtracting here, you'll need to add here. Go ahead and stop the video, give these a try, and we'll check in just a second. So like I said, I would need to subtract here. We have one addend, but not the other. So we're going to take our sum and take out the one addend. 10 minus 3 equals 7. Go back and plug it in. 3 plus 7 is 10. Is that a true statement? Sure is, so we know that it's correct. So here we have our total. And if we're multiplying, we're going to need to divide to get our answer. So we know that one of the factors is 3. To get the other one, we'll do 24 divided by 3, which is 8. Plug this back in. Is 3 times 8 24? That's true, it is. Here we're dividing, so we'll need to multiply. We'll take 2, a quotient, times 8. 2 times 8 is 16. Plug it in. Is 16 divided by 8 2? Yes, it is, so that's correct. Here we're subtracting, so we'll need to add. 7 plus 1 equals 8. Go back and plug it in. Is 8 minus 1 equals 7 a true statement? You bet. We're good to go. Let's take a look at a word problem. Kate checked out five books from the Media Center. They're somewhere. She can find two of them. How many more does she have to find? But what we need to ask ourselves is, what do I know? What do I not know? What needs to be a variable? And what's my total? Well, she checked out five books, so it means she's got a total of five books somewhere. Apparently she lost them. It says here that she can find two of them. So we know that she's got two of the five that she needs. The problem is we need to make a variable for how many more does she have to find. So we don't know. I'm going to use book B for books as my variable. So some books plus the two more books she has will give her the total of five books that the librarian would like. So to answer this, we will take the five books she checked out all together, take away the two books she can find. She should still need to find three more books. Let's plug it back in. Is three plus two equals five a true statement? Yep. So the number of books she needs to find is three. Try this one in your notebook. Carson has some Pokemon cards. His brother Jamie has 24, which is three times as many as Carson has. How many cards does Carson have? 
the first thing you'll need to do is to create an equation to go with the problem, and then you can solve it. Go ahead and stop the video and give that a try. Well, we know Carson has some Pokemon cards. The thing is, we don't know how many. His brother has 24, which is three times as many whoops, as Carson has. So we know that we're comparing it to 24. Okay. There's how many Jamie has. And we know that whatever number Carson has, Jamie has three times more. So we know that three times some number will give us 24. Well, if I want to solve this and I'm multiplying here, I'm going to need to divide. So 24 divided by 3 equals 8. Let's plug this back in. Is 3 times 8, is 24 a true statement? Yep, it is. So we've got that correct. So today we answer the question, how can I use the opposite function of an equation to solve for a variable? That's what we've been doing today. Again, if you've watched this, you've been doing it on your own. So you know, if you're running into trouble or questions, please, please, please catch me first thing in the morning and let me know.